Welcome back, class. Preamble. We shall recall that we treated standard forms of numbers and log number of numbers greater than 1 in our previous lessons. Revision example. Use logarithm tables to evaluate the following. Root of 449300 times 72.1 all over 6.32 raised to power 3 times 4.27. Solution. Number log. Root of 49300 gives us 4.69. 28 from the log table. Since the root is there, we, must, we divide now by 2 or we multiply by half. So this gives us 2.3464. Then the next number is, is 72.1. So from the log table, the log value of that is 1.8579. We now add the two log values. Now, we add 2.3464 to 1.8579. This give, give us a 4.2043. I put star to target. Now 6.32 raised to power 3 is the first number in the denominator. So the value of 6.32 raised to power 3 from the log table is 0. 8007 times 3 because of the power of 3 there. This gives us 2.4021. And the value of 4.27 from the log table is 0 0.6304. We now add both of them together because multiplication is in between them. So adding them together, we get uh, 3.0324. Tag two stars there. So the first one, which has a two and one star there, that is 4.2043 minus the one with two stars, 3.0325. When we subtract 3.0325 from the from 4.2043, we, we could get a 1.1718. Now we find the antilog of that one. And the antelope gives us 14.86 because we have 1 as the characteristic there. We have to add 1 to whatever we get there. So that gives us 2 places before the decimal point. So making it 14.86. Now the second one is 95.3 times... 18.4 keep root of it all over 1.29 raised to power 5 times 2.03 solution 95.3 log from the log table gives us 1.9791 and the keep root of 18.4 from the log table gives us 1.2 6, 4, 8 divided by 3 because of the power of 4 over 3 or keep root. This gives us 0 0.4216. Now, since both of them are multiplied uh, from uh, the, the, the statement of the question, then we subtract the log of, I mean, we now add their logs together, which, which gives us 2.4007. This one is tagged A. Now we go to the denominator. 1.29 raised to power 5 gives us 0 0.1106 times 5 because of the power of 5, which gives us 0 0.5530. And 2.03 gives us 0 0.3075. We add both of them together because both of them are multiplied from the statement and the question. So now, when we added them together, we could get a 0 0.8605. Tag B. Now we remove that of B from the one we tagged A. When we remove B from A, we could get 1.5402. The antilog of that gave us 34.69. Binary class, meet you after the timeout.
Welcome back class. We shall record that in standard form. Number like 176.29 is written as 1.7629 times 10 raised to power 2. Also a number like 0 0.0356 becomes 3.56 times 10 raised to power minus 2. Hence the following example. Evaluate. 0 0.6874 times 0 0.04325. Solution. 0 0.6874 times 0 0.04325 is equal to 6.874 times 10 to the power minus 1, all in bracket, times 4.325 times 10 to the power minus 2, all in bracket. Is equal to 10 to the power 0. 0.8373 plus 0 0.6360 times 10 raised to power minus 1 plus bracket open minus 2 bracket close all in bracket that is from the log table which is equal to 10 raised to power 1.4733 times 10 raised to power minus 3 which is equal to 10 raised to power 0 0.4733 times 10 raised to power 1 times 10 raised to power minus 3, which is equal to 2.974 times 10 raised to power 1 minus 3 from the antilog table, which is equal to 2.974 times 10 raised to power minus 2, which gives us 0 0.02974. This method involves horizontal arithmetic of figures. To prevent uh, any possible error, vertical arithmetic is prevailed as follows. Now, number and log. 0 0.6874 gives us the value by 1.8373 from the log table. Also, 0 0.04325 gives us the value from the log table as by 2.6360. Since the operation between the two numbers is multiplication, then we add their log values. Adding the two together, we have bar 2.4733. This vertical arithmetic method is far cheaper, time-saving, and more direct. Hence, the more popular and recommended for learners. Note. When setting the work table, note that one, the man teaser, the decimal part of the logarithms are always positive. These are added or subtracted in the usual way. Then also, the characteristics, that is the integers, of the logarithms may be positive or negative. This must be added or subtracted as directed numbers. Bye for now class. See you after the time out. Welcome back class. This is the last segment of this lesson here today. Simplification of logarithm with bar notation. Examples. 1. Bar 3.4 plus bar 4.7 is equivalent to bar 3 plus 0 0.4 plus bar 4 plus 0 0.7. Adding the two together will give us bar 7 plus 1.1. Which is equal to bar 7 plus 1 plus 0 0.1, which gives us my bar 6 plus 0 0.1, which is equal to bar 6.1. The second example bar 3.4 plus 5.6 is equivalent to bar 4 plus 1.4 plus 5 plus 0 
adding them together we have 1 plus 2.0 which gives us 3 or we have it equivalent to by 4 plus 1 plus 0 0.4 plus 5 plus 0 plus 0 0.6 which gives us 1 plus 1 plus 1 1.0, which is equal to 3.0. So the same answer, whichever way. The third example, by 6.8 minus by 3.5 is equivalent to by 6, by 6 plus 0 0.8 minus by 3 plus 0 0.5. This gives us bar 3 plus 0 0.3, which is equal to bar 3.3. 3. The fourth one, bar 5.4 minus bar 3.6 is equivalent to bar 5 plus 0 0.4 minus bar 3 plus 0 0.6, which is equivalent to bar 6 plus 1.4 minus by 3 plus 0 0.6 so this gives us by 6 plus 3 plus 0 0.8 which is equal to by 3 plus 0 0.8 which is equal to by 3.8 practice exercise simplify the following expressing the answers in bar notation where necessary a 2.6 plus by 3.4 B by 3.4 plus by 3.7 C by 2.1 minus by 4.8 D by 3.5 minus by 6.7 Here we draw the curtain. Have a nice day. Bye for now.